Just been looking through both the forecasts and the decisions. So we get the decision, obviously, on interest rates. And on that front, I guess no surprises here. No one was really expecting the bank to raise interest rates, or indeed, for that matter, to cut them. They've left them on hold, 5.25%. It was a split decision, but it was slightly less split than last time around. There are nine members of the, uh, the Monetary Policy Committee who decide on interest rates. Six of them uh, said they wanted to leave them on hold. But in a sense, the big story here is really more just about the kind of mood music. And that's got two parts here. It's got the state of the economy. And they've done their latest forecast for the UK economy. And frankly, it's a little bit grim. You've got essentially weaker growth, not just this year, but next year and the year after that as well. So three years worth uh, of economic growth forecasts have been cut. Look at next year and basically the economy is flatlining. And that's quite interesting, isn't it? We're coming up to an election period and it will be fought against the background, if these folks are right, of flatlining economic growth. Essentially, you know, not necessarily a recession, but no growth either. The economy, not, you know, people around this country, GDP, that's the best measure of income in this country. If it's not expanding, people are not getting better off. So that is pretty depressing. Um, but they expect inflation to start coming down uh, as well. And why is, why is the growth so weak? Why is inflation coming down? It all comes back to the fact that interest rates are very high right now, and that's affecting households around the country. Although there is still a lot of this yet to feed through. According to the bank, they think that just over half of the pain that households are going to feel in terms of those interest rates feeding into higher mortgage rates, just over half of that has yet to be felt. So it's going to be felt in the future. Final thing that's worth noting is the signal from the governor, and we're going to hear more from him over the course of the day, the signal from the governor is don't expect any cuts in those interest rates anytime soon. At the moment, the market expects those interest rates to stay at 5.25% all the way through till towards the end of next year. The bank basically signalling, yeah, they're going to be high for quite a long time. And that's going to be quite tough. And it's going to be tough for this institution as well, because as inflation comes down, as unemployment goes up and it looks like it's going up, as growth is incredibly weak and it's very weak right now and its forecaster continues to be weak, there will be more and more pressure on the Bank of England to cut interest rates. But they say right now, don't expect anything like that for quite some time.